Thank you guys so much for joining me. I mean, usually I'm laid back, chilled gamer, but this time, Transport Fever, early access here. We're checking it out, the beta build here. Build 11589, that's right, that's what we're gonna do. Still beta build, keep that in mind as I play along. I'm not gonna do a review 101 series or anything until the game's fully released, but let's just have some fun. What I'm gonna do, campaign mode, and I'm gonna do America first. I'm also gonna be doing a free game series as well. I'm gonna be just launching all these videos at the same time, so make sure you uh, subscribe so you get all those little tweets and all that good stuff so you're up to date. Let's hear what we have to do when we jump into the campaign here. America. America, the land of opportunity, demonstrates your talent and rise to become the most powerful transport company in the most powerful country in the world. That is right. We're going to be doing the American campaign, and uh, I have been replaying through it, so that's why it says Mission 5 of 7. Uh, but what I want to do is we're going to restart, of course, from the very, very beginning. The future lies in the West. We will bring progress to this barren swath of land full of simple-minded country bumpkins and savage natives. But transporting the required goods is painstaking and expensive. A railroad from East to West, now that would be a real gold mine. Mm -hmm. But the competition never sleeps. The Central Pacific Railroad has already started construction on a line from the Pacific. Let's beat them to it and open up the Wild West. That's right, those simple-minded country bumpkins. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so this is going to be the campaign. There's actually seven missions for the America side, and then there's seven more missions for the Europe side. You're going to be able to make your own campaigns and missions and kind of play around with that. Who knows? We'll get into all of it. It's still all a little bit new to me, too. Wild West here, what's cool is in each mission here are uh, medals to shoot for and stuff like that. So let's jump right in. Wild West. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Sorry. Da, yeah. Let's do it. Start mission. Welcome to the Wild West. It is the year 1864, and we find ourselves in the tranquil settlement of Cheyenne, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The tracks from the east end here. Our job, to construct a railroad line to the west. The first transcontinental railroad in the whole of America. The investors have given us a rather modest sum of money, but that'll have to do if we don't want to scare them off. If the competition carries on working at the current pace, they're expected to reach the goal before us. Let's spare ourselves this disgrace and get started. I usually play with the music uh, off uh, for you guys, uh, so you can kind of either add your own kind of music to it. Sometimes I might add music, let me know these things. But back to the point, this is the actual first mission uh, that I have recorded, like first transport fever video that I've recorded. So I might kind of talk a, a little bit too much about all the new features and stuff like that just because I'm excited about it. Uh, but I want to keep these campaign missions to the point. This is the campaign, America style mission one. Let's get to it. Also remember again, quick note, this was the beta version, but check out the new UI stuff. You can see everything's kind of down at the bottom. Things will unlock as we move on. Little revamp of all the icons, even all the downtown buildings are redone. Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. All right, so here we are in the town of Cheyenne, I guess apparently in the middle of nowhere. Fine, I guess that is true. It does seem pretty desolate out here. All right, so right off the bat, we're gonna have to recruit workers and deliver some grain to what looks like uh, this little Cheyenne spot right here. I like now that in the maps, farms are actually farms. So uh, like up here, you don't just have random farms everywhere. If you see a farm, that is what it actually is. It is an actual farm that's producing wheat, it's producing livestock, it's doing all kinds of stuff. However, right now, we got a mission, which is build truck stations at the Cheyenne farm, construct a depot and buy the horse-drawn carts there that can carry grain. Then we need to set up a line between the two truck stations and deploy the horse-drawn carts on it. So this is, of course, pretty, pretty basic stuff. We're just gonna have to throw down some truck stops. We're gonna have to get some trucks running on them. So let's check out the new UI, shall we? It's down at the bottom now. Looks like we have our line manager, which we can pull up if we'd like. Down at the bottom left also, we have all our list of cities and industries and all that good stuff. And we'll get way more into this as we go. However, we're just checking into it right now. But as you can see, some of these things are grayed out. I can't build tracks yet, no trains. I can build roads. However, check it out. All these options here with tram tracks if wanted. 
We can upgrade it. We can do all these cool things here, but we need the buses and trucks. So now you see how you got your little passenger icon here. We've got our goods icon here. That's the only thing that's unlocked. We even have our little depot here, which we're going to need to actually have trucks join our new line. So I'm using the N and M key just to rotate this however you want. If you hold down shift, it actually slows down the rotation. That's kind of a nifty little hotkey tip there. Uh, one nice feature that is new with Transport Fever is that uh, when you hit escape or your settings here, look, controls, you can remap your controls. What? Yes, you can remap them. Uh, one of the ones I suggest remapping right away, I, I don't know if it'll be there on release, is the F12 key, which usually, if you're playing on Steam, that's your screenshot key. It was also toggling and untoggling uh, this UI filter, which, oh, we'll get into that too, the UI filter, just amazing. Nice little features that are here that you just didn't have in Train Fever, so uh, lots of cool things to talk about. And look, missions, huh? what, what is this? Looks like that question mark usually means there's a mission or something there, but let's still, let's not jump the gun, Monty. Let's, let's uh, get our truck depots built. I'm gonna throw one over here, oh no! So this is not normal except for the early campaign mission. This is something you could run into if it still exists on launch, is you cannot build things while the game is paused. Don't you worry if this is the first thing you jump into. This is not normal, even for later missions, you will be able to build when paused. This is just to make sure you know to unpause the game. I think they're kind of like forcing your hand and kind of guiding you a little bit because this is mission one. So we're going to unpause the game by pressing the tab key, which just scrolls through your different speeds. And then if you want to pause the game, the pause key. So anyway, we're going to unpause the game, throw this station down here. Then I'm going to repause the game because I don't like to waste any time here. We're going to click on our brand new depot by road vehicles and then hey we don't have too much we've got the horse carriage and we have the horse wagon this one's capacity four but passengers and it shows your top speeds and all that stuff this is capacity four with all the cargo types and this is early on so of course this little horse wagon will carry every type of cargo available on the map now we're going to go with the automatic configuration we'll talk more about how all this works later automatic is pretty key uh, pretty fun. You can also change the color of the vehicles. Say you want like red carts. Uh, you can change this after the fact too. However, it is what it is. Let's buy one, two, three, four, five of these right now because these are just going to make money for me right at the beginning. So let's go ahead and set a line. This is how I like to do it. I set line and then select new line. The other thing you could do is click on your line manager and click new line here. However, like I said, all these are in the depot. I'm gonna say set line all, new line, and we're gonna, it automatically opens up the new line, which we're gonna rename Grain Trucking, because that makes sense and we'll know what it is. We can even color it like grain colored. And now the add station's already selected. One station we are going to select is this station over here, right by the farm. Now the other one is going to be this station over here, which I did not build yet. So now that we're all cramped and crowded here, let's close that window. I can even do this while this is still up. Game is paused, so I'm gonna have to unpause the game. Move this guy around, build it, pause it, and add station right here. Now you can see that the line automatically builds up here. Boom, this is our first transportation network line. How cool is that? That is time to press play. That is time to click on our road vehicle. Yeah, you gotta remember this, look at this guy. He's, he's driving, he's chill. We could look at the game like this. Now it almost seems like a hidden tip, but if you move over this right here, look at that, look at, look at that weird blue icon there. It says enter cockpit. Wait a minute, enter cockpit, let's click on that. And yes, that's right, first person mode. Oh man, I'm telling you, this is gonna get so epic, especially when we get in some planes. And even the trains are really nice looking. But look, you get your speed, you know where you're going, you know what line it is, green trucking. This is pretty cool. And I mean, I know that this is a small map, there's not a lot going on, but I'm getting a solid 60 frames per second. Now, when I start playing in my free map, I'm gonna have 27 cities, we're gonna be playing into the future, it's gonna be amazing and epic. 
we're going to be pushing the game to the limits. But so this is, how cool is this first person mode? No, already that's going to be epic, epic, epic. It's kind of hiding down in this bottom left. The icon will be like a little camera or something, I'm sure. It's not, it's just, you know, again, beta, beta mode. It is what it is. But how cool that that's already included in that reviewer uh, copy here. I'm excited to show that off. I wasn't, I didn't even know if that was going to be here because that's the first time I've really been able to click on it. Besides yesterday, I played around a little bit with it in some of my saved games. And I'm sure I'll show a little bit of that footage just to tease off uh, what what is what is ahead of us, what is coming. Uh, it's going to be amazing. But as you can see right now, our mission that we chose to accept was to deliver four grain. We've got to deliver grain, four grain. Each of these trucks holds four grain. So notice I had automatic, so it's all, it says logs. It's like, wait a minute, I don't want you to deliver logs. Don't worry, watch what the automatic feature is going to do on truck number one. He's gonna flip around and he's gonna stop and let's see if it works. He's gonna automatically change to grain. Automatic, you get it, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. And he picked up that one little piece of grain. That one little piece of grain. And now, how did that get figured out? What's so cool and what's so different? I know we're gonna have to get some of this train fever stuff out of our mind and learn the transport fever way is these goods aren't like moving. There's no little goods button. I know some of you are like, Monty, show us show us how the goods are moving. Well, it's, it's by range, really. Like, see how when I click on this truck station here, this farm lights up. That means this truck station is in range of this farm. So anything that's produced in this farm is actually going to be able to be transported to this station. Now, we then have to get it over here. To the Cheyenne storage. Now in the storage, its consumption rate is right here and it has potential of 26, meaning I'm producing. These numbers will start getting close together, hopefully. But you can see this is where I'm going to consume the grain just right now. I'm not consuming any. I needed some truck station close enough to this. Not so the goods could move there, but just so they're within the range. So that's something that we're going to be learning about more in transport fevers the range that these goods can go, uh, and it's more covering that. They're not actually moving around like they did in Train Fever. So, things to keep in mind. Like I said, now when I click on this truck station here, notice not only this station lights up, but all of these buildings light up as well. Notice these are not lit up because these are out of the range of this truck station. This is so lovely because when you when you, you will see when we start getting into passengers and bus stations, when you place the bus stations, you will see the range at which they cover. It is amazing. It's so helpful because you really know how to spread out your stations to really cover the whole city. So really, 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 really cool. Anyway, delete key, closes everything. Still love that. Our first grain was delivered. It will instantly be consumed over here. It is not actually moving. I know I've said that a lot, but trust me, to get these train fever things out of my mind, I must repeat, repeat, and repeat. But what I'm excited about is getting this four grain here, because what is this train station doing here? I, I want to do something with it. I want to build on it. Anyway, I think it's time, guys. Let's click on the question mark. Let's do it. Boom. It is rumored that a huge nugget of gold is buried somewhere in the wasteland before us. The first settlers are said to have buried it somewhere out in no man's land while on the run from gunslingers. An aging saloon girl in Laramie knows more. An aging saloon girl. Ooh. In Laramie? Laramie? Where is this? What's this about? And then notice this. I click on the city. You see these? Shopping facilities, population, jobs, and look at all the different goods they want. Oh man, it's awesome. And it's poor, poor because I'm not delivering anything. So that is not good, but let's see what's going on right here. The huge nugget is buried in the desert, says the lady in the saloon. That is, of course, is incredibly she? vague. However, she also seems to think that the Indians might have already found the nugget and then reburied it, as in their minds, gold cannot be eaten. Hmm. Follow the clue to the Indians and click on the question mark to find out more. 
Ooh, here we go. We're going to actually find out what's going on up here. And what I would like to comment right quick, you see these red lines? These are like restricted zones, so we just couldn't build over here yet if we tried. But we'll learn about that as we go. Let's click on the Indians and find out what Let construction begin. is happening. In order right not after to we fritter away our meager starting capital from already on America. the first leg of the journey, it'd be sensible to choose a route that avoids costly blasting operations to build tunnels. Okay, here we go. The first leg. We are here. I'm going to throw down a pause so we don't lose too much time while I'm chatting away and looking at Indians and things like that. But I did need to wait for that grain to process before we really moved on here. So we need to build a passenger station from Laramie and connect it to the existing route with tracks. Hmm. A valley connects Cheyenne and Laramie near the farm. That's a good area to lay tracks inexpensively, and I can see that here. We're talking about kind of cutting around this way instead of trying to build over this big uh, mountainous area. One thing you can open up is these contour lines. I like, I like this. They even put like what, how the distance it meters. And check this out. You move the mouse, you can actually see the mouse height at where the cursor is. How cool is that? It's down. It's right here. Contour lines. Notice that. Height at mouse cursor. What? That's pretty cool. I don't know. I mean, I know. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we need to build a train station over here. And it looks like there's more goods to talk about. There's more things to do. But let's find out what's up with the Indians first. What's up? A small Indian boy who was evidently better disposed towards us than his father's has whispered the following to one of our people. Ooh. In the mountain that the sun kisses goodnight and where the shadow of the great tree pierces the heavy rock, you will find nothing that can be eaten. What is that supposed to mean? Well, can't be eaten. That's the gold. Use the terrain tool to dig where? 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 I want the gold. Hold on. Everything is on hold. I want the gold. But we have to find where it could be hidden, the mysterious gold nugget. What could this mean? Use the terrain tool to dig for it. Hmm. Hmm. We will have to keep an eye out for this golden nugget. There's some riddle that must be solved. But before we solve the riddle... Let's work on the mission. Connect Cheyenne to Laramie. All right, let's do it. This has been unlocked. Oh, yeah, we've got signals. We've got we got waypoints. We've got track. Let's build the track. Build it, build it, build it. And I'm going to bring up the contour map because it's kind of nice when you're building out the track. Straight across, though, we're going to go minimal speed here so we can build. And we are going to build around here. Notice that the red line's gone, so we are free to go. I want to keep full speed if possible on this track. No, not, not any intense curves or anything. I like the snap to the road. Like, it just auto kind of snaps, which gives a real nice effect. However, like I said, I want to go full speed here. I might slow down a little bit here. But that's fine. We don't have trains that go that fast anyway. But in free play, I would be disappointed. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Let's keep on going. We need to build out the uh, station first because I want to know where I'm coming to. And now let's check out some of the new features with the stations. Now we've got a nice, cool little station here as time progresses in the game. New and uh, New stations will be unlocked, plus the workshop. There's going to be all kinds of stations available. But in-game, straight off the bat, you have your train station, and then you have a terminal station. The terminal station's cool because it just dead ends. And, yeah, there you have it. It just dead ends. Because, as you know, in Train Fever, Transport Fever-style games, when the train finishes finishes its stop, it can just, like, auto-flip and turn back in the other direction. So this station works nice for that. However, we know we're going to need to keep building out. So we need a train station, not a terminal station. We'll build those out in the future, though. At some point, guaranteed, it will happen. Let's go ahead and just place this guy right about here. That's at a road right here. Whoa, that's a big road. Let's just go a little road here. Let's not get crazy. 
I want a just nice straight road like that. Little little sideways there. And uh, no, I'm gonna let that stuff. I like to build out my cities, but the campaign, I'm gonna just try to stick to what we need to stick to. All right, so we've got that built out. Now we can go back to our tracks and build out our tracks. Oh yeah, so exciting. You guys let me know, what are you guys all excited about with Transport Fever? I know you guys have been watching the dev videos and some gameplay like that. But now that you're looking into the campaign, I'm curious of what you guys all think, what you guys are wanting to see. It's going to be pretty epic. Now this is a tough grade change here. It seems pretty pricey. Hmm... I need to build something straight across this river. Wow, yeah, it's gonna cost about that much money and we only, well, we have 2.5 million, but we're still gonna have to buy the train. And like I said, I I'm, want to get the metals, so I'm hoping not to spend too much money. Like I could spend extra money on these nicer bridges, but what's the point? Uh, not in this case, we're just gonna go like this. And I'm not even worried about the height of the the uh, the bridge, like if boats could go under it, but that would be a, a normal concern. Oh, I didn't see this here. I didn't see that there. That is not a good... 49 miles per hour, kind of a little Wonderful. bit of a waste. This one leg completed already. However, we're already encountering our first difficulties. It was very good of the government to place this land at our disposal free of charge. Ooh. If it weren't for those damned Indians. They've pitched their tents right in the middle of our planned route. Our scouts seem to think they're rather displeased with the white man and his iron horse. And that's us. FYI, here's like end mission stuff all the way down here. Promontory Summit, right? Promontory Point. We got to make it here by 1874. So let's uh, throw down the pause. Kind of see what's going on with the indians what what about the mysterious nugget where's this is this gonna what is this gonna do point so we have to keep an eye out don't worry about it too much yet but don't you worry we will know and we will find that golden nugget i promise you that uh, but let's we're gonna have to get next to uh our, our next point of here is connecting laramie here up to Rollins, but hmm, we've got to talk to the Indians and find out what's going to happen. All right, everybody, this is going to be part one of mission one. I'm going to leave you guys here. Let's find out what we're going to do. Those damned Indians. They're sabotaging our work and are said to have physically attacked some of our men. We need to do something. We have various options. Either we buy them a piece of land of equivalent value, which could get pretty costly, or we could settle it the old-fashioned way, which would probably cost us our good reputation in certain circles. Or else we could try to bribe them with fire water, although its consumption is known to make one rather aggressive. All right, guys, this is kind of a perfect spot to call this the end of part one for mission one of the Wild West. Negotiate with the Indians. That's what we're going to have to do. That's where we're going to kickstart this right in the next episode. I hope you guys stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe so you get the updates when these videos are posted. And let me know in the comments, what would you guys do? And what are you guys going to do when you get the game? Are you going to oust the Indians with violence? Looks like that's just free. I don't know what's going to happen, though. We can buy and exchange land for, wow, 200000 Or we could bribe the Indians with fire water, which only costs us like 10000 So post below, what would you guys do? What do you guys think so far? What more would you like to see? And uh, see you guys in the other series. Make sure to check it out. I cannot wait. I'm going to be using mods. I'm going to be doing everything. So this was it. This was the very first episode I've ever shown for Transport Fever. I really hope you guys like it. I'm going to go fine-tune it and get it ready right now. I'm so excited. I will see you guys soon. See you in the comments. Keep on gaming. Monty Rico Gaming.